All right. Here I was going to say, you know, they have pistols and, and stuff. They've uh, been warming up for a while. Yeah, they're warming up. Uh, we are live now, though. What's your ultimate warm up time when you get onto a stage? 10 minutes? 20 minutes? It depends, right? Because, like, the stage nowadays, because the setup is already done. You warm up before you go on stage, yeah. and then you, you just plug in the hard drive. So, like, the only thing that should be different would be technically the table. And if even, I think that most teams or most TOs nowadays kind of keep the same table too. They do indeed. So it should honestly just be, you go on the stage, yeah, you shoot some hats on warm-up and stuff like that. But all oh. the warm-up and prep should be done right before that. That was a manager. Coach MCE opening <laughs> things up. Wow, and he's got the bangs for his mates. Pop flashing automatic here any second. Oh. No, nope, they're scrambling. It oh. doesn't matter. That was so fast. Do they see Som? Yeah. They've done a nice little a bait and bait. switch. Oh. oh, they did see it. They did see it. I knew it. I cannot believe five players at Banana and Gen G gets steamrolled. Wow. And the coach to open things up with. MCE coming out once again. I feel like we should just, can we just make it a rule if we ever have stand-ins and especially the coach, can we just have them be named the coach? The coach you as, know what their, I mean? as their alias? Yeah, that's their yeah. alias. It's not MC, <laughs> it's the coach. Yeah, it's you the know? coach. I like that. I actually like that. Makes it a little bit more hurtful once they go back and rewash the VOD and like, <laughs> oh, well, die from the goddamn <laughs> coach again. It's a little subtle roast. Those are the best kinds. But here, I mean, Genji, they forced into this. Very common. Loose pistol, you force into this. You have a bunch of smokes on the side of Genji as well. Another common thing is that you kind of want to wait a little bit, delay the smokes, and this one you're going to see the smokes just... They should just keep refill, refilling the smokes now on this B bomb side. We talk about timing and stuff like that. For Chaos, you have two options here. You're going to fall back. You can take over main and fall back to B if you want, for example. But once you, you have to make sure that don't let the time go down too much. Do you get to a point in which, like, there's 20 seconds left, you, you have to run through a smoke at B. Rather take your time here. I think they're being very smart with this. The smoke came up banana. As soon as that happens, they're just going to go up and take up mid control here. And we obviously see, we know firsthand that there is a B stack here from Genji, three towards B, and for the sole purpose of actually just re-throwing the smoke grenade. And here you see Daps falling back. This is obviously going to be a little bit too late here. Well, I say that, but a Chaos is actually taking a little bit. They're taking their sweet time here. Whoa. They got freaked out by that mini smoke. They're coming back around to wrap, and now this has bought plenty of time for Gen G. If Bentek gets a shot off here, this crossfire. Oh, ooh, that swing around from Leaf. Ooh, that saves everything because that that crossfire it was about to do some damage. Yeah, that was about to that was about to do work. Yeah. Second round to chaos. They're up two to nothing. Taps is gonna bug out and head home. Alrighty, so better start from Chaos here on Inferno. So, f well, actually, I shouldn't say that. They, I think, you know, last time they got three. Better start. <laughs> <laughs> the same start for this, Chaos here. This looked good though. <laughs> this looked no, but real I, good. I mean, a note though, another pistol bar, uh, pistol win from Chaos. How they do on uh, Mirage? They won one. They no? did win, but I think Genji won the second round yeah. forced by, right? Okay. Yeah. But still though, pistol kings apparently in North America. This chaos squad. That 16 year old aim. Paying dividends. Must be nice. <laughs> Two to zero. This should be the easiest eco to win. One round away from finding out if Koos is going to have an AWP. Maybe. What's his money? 2400. 2450. Okay, so they both forced and fully forced into the last round. So maybe not this first round, maybe not next yeah. round. Four players, uh, there is a flashbang on Bentet. I have to have to imagine it's gonna be coming out right about now. I have a question for you, Robin. Uh, does Hauser always save for the AWP in the very first gun round? So would he have not forced? Here? No, not on this map. No? Okay. It depends on the map, really. Um, it also depends on if you prefer or if you like to play with the scout or not. Yeah. I think on a map like Inferno, he doesn't. He just he just buys. Okay. And then he would just pick up the AWP if we need it or whatnot. <laughs> same thing, maybe on the CT side and same thing on like Vertigo. But there are some maps, obviously, you want to prioritize like a train, like even on a Dust2, for example. 
Don't give away all your tactics, Robin. I mean, I feel like it's pretty fucking self-explanatory. <laughs> That's pretty general <laughs> here, dude. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, jokes aren't allowed anymore. No. Why are you having fun, Jason? We <laughs> talked about Christ. this. Don't why have did, fun. Why did I just get clapped back on by both of you? Jason just wanted to be part of the conversation. <laughs> I, know, just like, I, wanna, I got something to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Listen, you're about to see Kusa just pop off here. Next round, maybe, probably not. Probably not for next round, considering it looks like they actually bought for he, he also yeah. bought for next for last round. Or the cash for, flow, the cash flow right now is yeah. not great. And you don't want to go glass cannon off the first weapon round, you know. Needs a stimulus check. And you probably tend to. You prefer did. The rifle, SMGs maybe, some nades, but we'll see, we'll see. There's a bunch of money here. Just 50 away from light armor He's and thinking off. about it, yeah. So he's definitely automatic buys it. Kusa's thinking about it. Maybe he's asking Som for a drop here, actually. Oh, yeah, that could be the play. Nope, nope. not going to happen. He's still not buying. He's a little bit tilted now because he wanted it. We talk about alpha. He tried to alpha. Didn't get his way. <laughs> push here, or at least a three-man stack from Genji, the first weapon round, on to the banana bomb site. See how many nades they throw, how much they want to choose to save. For Chaos, they don't want any of that. This is actually a set play as well. It's like a waterfall out of apps for the first weapon round. We know it's a little bit of a bonus round with some SMGs. Nice trade from NCE. He has some SMGs this time round. It doesn't go first, though. It's pretty weird, but whatever. Ooh. It's all falling nice. apart it here. I, again, but again, though, we mentioned the whole thing with trading, right? Like, again, yeah. Chaos is just very good on the trading game. Gen G, they were trying to lock the site down, but 3 on 2 situation now. Bomb's about to go down. We do have nades here. So it's still, like, doable. This Molotov's going to be huge. Oh, he doesn't throw it towards Pit. That's, Interesting. Um, He's going to smoke Pit off. Peak before the smoke plumes. Wants vanity. He's got it. Oh, oh my what God. a spin! Kusta doesn't Kenneth need the off. Swen. That's nasty. You see that whippy aim, dude? Yeah, he's on one. He got a good, that's 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 nice. Let's go. That's a good recovery. Nice retake. Yeah. Yeah. Smoked it off. Even the smoke. I mean, I feel like he did have to regroup himself a little bit. But yeah, smokes it off here. Gets the kill on vanity. Over the hole. Nice sequence. Nice retake as well. Yeah, he uh, he's getting a bit fortunate. John G really, really had a shot there. He had a moment. First round for Gen G. Daps on another SMG. Same with Bantet. But full sets of nades. Automatic as well, actually. So three SMGs on the CT side. All right. Smoke combo with the Molotov. Again, the same oh setup my here. Lord. Three towards B in the beginning. It's like a semi-aggressive setup. They're basically waiting for reactions. They have smokes and stuff oh. like that, obviously. Oh, oh, man. Did he not see that coming? He I did. He did. was trying to get out of it before. The panic is real there. I swear he's had enough time to... The thing is, though, I mean, the, it, it's he didn't the get any worst of two worlds, right? Yeah. yeah, and if he decides to stay, he's dead oh, anyway yeah, yeah, at Sandbag, you know? So he, no, he I agree, tried like, to choose the worst option out of the <laughs> bad options. It's weird because even saw here, he does have the smoke and stuff like that. You could technically wall off like half wall, like when you decide like, oh, I'm low, let's fight or let's not fight. Instead, they decide, Ooh. hey, let's just sell the guy. Let's just, we still have two towards B. Som only gets the one there. He definitely needed one more. Same with Kusta, actually. They're still low, but it's a three on two situation. Another retake. But that do have some nades, so a flashbang and an HE. So it's still very much doable, but this one's going to be a little bit more difficult. Yeah, I don't know about this one. I, I would go, I would, you might as well go for it, I feel. Like well, they have no, SMGs. No anyway, one's got money yeah. and you have SMGs. You and. Know. I mean, one low HP player, they probably don't realize it quite yet. Daps, or Benta and Daps just praying so far. <gasps> this could do it. He's going to move out of the way. Nice dodge from Vanity. No one peeking yet. So at this point, you're not going for it. You might as well just try and take the guns away from them as they exit. And Ooh. MCE is watching for just that. That's a banger of a shot. Vanity getting caught. To be fair... That single MP9, they probably thought it was just the one single player. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
But man, for Gen G side of things, oof, it just falls apart. I mean, the kills they kind of came, but Robin, to Robin's point, they needed more. You can't just, it cannot be just a one for one there. Well, because you can. I actually mentioned this about Gen.G a lot in the sense that like they have a good game plan coming into it, but they don't adapt when it happens. So like you saw there, like obviously they had a game plan, they had three towards B, they were throwing nades, automatic was outside, but then they don't talk about like, hey, what are we doing if they actually come, or what are we doing if they actually nade? Like the idea was seemed to have just been like, I'm just gonna stand here by myself, the call is made up like, hey, just to sell this guy. But if you talk about it while nothing is happening, he's already out there and stuff. You have a smoke on Psalm, you can smoke off half wall and stuff like that. You can take the fight to them as well, knowing the automatic still has that position. I think just the barrage of nades towards automatic was so rough. <laughs> that was so brutal. Yeah. He had everything thrown at him. John G going to lead the way up banana. It's all clear. So, stack towards the yep. A bomb site. A chaos is going to go up 5 to 1. How long can they keep this momentum? Yeah, and this is, this is the trend from Chaos as well. Really good first, like, a lead. Then usually when the their opponents start adapting a little bit, you see the attack and stuff, they start talking about, like, the approach of Chaos. That's when they kind of start slipping a little bit because they don't seem to adapt back. They have a good early... Once they start, like, losing a little bit, a few rounds, it takes them, like, pretty much a whole half to get an idea. And I think Chaos, again, you know, like, you know they have their coach as a... <laughs> as a player, but they, I think they're the team that has used their timeouts the least. Okay. Yeah, that's very possible. From what we've seen. And you know, I have to bring up uh, your point again, Jason, about uh, about the fact that Chaos, maybe they should in the future start playing on T-side first. Yeah. In their maps coming into series. You know, they obviously really like to control the pace and... I mean... They seem to be having a great start. Yeah, I mean, their they're, they're T-sides usually start out well. They're very good at, like, riding the momentum. And because they like to be aggressive and focus on trading, they do really good when they control the economy of games as well, which I think is what lends to so many hot starts on the T-side. CT, obviously, you know, some, some issues sometimes working together, but that's that's to be expected. Nades out. John G's going to push forward with the Molotov. Oh, Sob's out in the open. There's the pop flash Robin wanted. This time, it's clean. And Sob is going to push up even further. Ooh. He holds down the trigger, and Zeppo walks into it. That's nice. And here comes the smoke, and exactly that as well, right? We fall back. We go defensive positions. We have, the, we have daps as well. I think... I wish that Daps would have been the one that threw the smoke on B before he fell back, so you kill, still save the nades on, on B, but instead it's a very aggressive play here instead from Chaos that reply essentially, kind of knowing, hey, they're three at B, and we do like a little bit of a expo flash or expo play B or domino play on A here. So now they actually have the bomb site. Bomb's about to go down. No nades though on the hands of Chaos. Which is an, oh, that one Molotov picked up from Ben to, oh, I don't, can't believe you didn't get Psalm. If he finds Psalm on low health, all of a sudden, that's a, that's probably a win for Chaos. It goes the other direction. Kit on Kusta. AWP is picked up in the hands of Psalm. Triple kill for him in the round. All right. There's the recovery round. That's not bad. Two, only two players surviving kind of hurts. Money's going to be really low, so they're not out of the woods just yet. Um, but if they, can, if they can just keep along this path. Exactly. And like you said, it's a recovery round as well. Now for Chaos, one of the things, we talk about the adaptation, right? Like here we see Gen G putting the three guys towards B at all times. This should be the read from Chaos that one round, like the previous one as well. Like, oh, they're stacking two, three B. They want to fight for it. You have two options here. You push back to B, you fight for B this one round. You do a default, for example, and you take over B late. But you can do a really slow default. I actually love this play from Chaos. Do a really slow default here. Don't, you know, fuck mid, you know, just wait for it and just wait for the nades at B and then you take B exactly like that, like pretty much for free and you have a lot of options now, you can fall back, you can take over mid short again if you want. If Chaos has and if they want to here as well, they can just do an expo pop into, into the B bomb site here. Instead, it's going to be a little bit slow. Vanity's just going to go for the peaks instead. It's just a smoke. They just want to try and waste some nades here on the Gen G side. This is where the first smoke grenade comes in. This is where we're going to see the, the reply from Chaos. Now you have 17 seconds. Now you want to take over mid. You want to do some stuff. We saw the fake. Who was that, actually? It was Vanity. It was John G. It was faking up in mid there. You see the molly and smoke yep. and be short. That's just basically just a regular mid take. Watching out for the op as well. This is a good little setup here. This is a good start for Chaos. Gen G... 
are playing the bomb site and we pay attention to the nades. They don't have a lot. Som forced to take a more of an aggressive angle here once the multis start raining in. Ooh, they're fighting CT spawn. Automatic's got to be careful. He gets a good pick off and he's definitely aware of the tree push here. I feel like, I don't know, I felt like <laughs> that was one, I mean, it felt like they wanted to attack like two different angles at the same time to me. They yeah. were they both one two attack towards spawn, two attack towards bomb site yeah. without actually taking one over. Still, it was a, it was a cool round. It almost it almost was able to pan off. Maybe if you get that kill onto automatic with the AWP, you can start circling around the bomb site. Or I mean, Furia they even throw a second smoke that's a little bit deeper into CT spawn. I mean, yeah. that definitely would have because you saw the player kind of jiggle peeking spawn slowly working it. If that second smoke is there, then then it's a freebie into the site. So definitely that could have helped out. But this is a Tech Nine rush. Tech Nine rush. I've missed these. At least one Tech Nine. It's leading the way. We'll call it the Tech Nine rush because he's a leading the way. A lot of people buy Tech Nines in Europe. I'll tell you that. Yeah, much. yeah. Holy Tech Nine is smoke, making a resurgence. Man. It's a uh, it's a vintage weapon coming back into style. Anders is convinced that there's a meta that's coming. That's uh, Tech Nine and uh, the PP Bison. The PP Bison is also absolutely bonkers at the moment. Yeah, that's what he's saying. He yeah. says no one's caught on yet. Hallsuck bought it as soon as the update came out, and he's pretty good with it. The rate of fire isn't the best, but obviously they upped the armor pen a little bit. A lot of bullets on it too. And Leaf, and this know, is threw away that all. I feel like we're wa rewatching the same day. It's like Groundhog Day for us here uh, on the BTS couch. <laughs> a good start for Chaos, right? You know, a good early lead. Now we see Genji kind of clawing it back. Money's still, money's getting there. Daps obviously still haven't died, so he's still keeping the SMG. But this is where, like, we, we I, I love the initial approach here from Chaos for the previous round there. I do think that the exit was a little bit sloppy. They obviously had a game time with the trying to kill the spawn guy. But the initial approach, here we see again automatic, very aggressive, the 3B setup. Here's what I want to happen from Chaos. As soon as the smoke comes down on the banana for Gen G, just read it as a player and be like, hey, just, just let's just rush A one round to like kind of put pressure on there so they can't afford to have 3 at B in the beginning of the round. You have to capitalize on that too. Yeah, that's rough to deal with over and over and over again. Saw so him with one nade listening for a, for some kind of a sound cue before he just drops one on their head. There it is. Timing is not there. They're not quite past the half wall. But, I mean, as Inferno, you know, we see frequently everyone on Chaos is over in Banana. The final four remaining members, so this just has to be a B hit. They've given up map control everywhere else. Som drops down to first oranges. He's got no nades. Flashbangs are out. They turn the corner. First kill is his, but not the second. And Kusta blocked off by the oh. smoke is dropped right through it. Nice entries getting into the site, but man, Kusta and Som are so disconnected. On yeah. a really telegraphed B execute. Yeah, a pretty standard execute. Yeah. But I mean, the good. I mean, it's perfect utility work to force them into that discomfort. Ooh. For sure. Oh, this is a nice recovery. Automatic, starting things off, and Coach MCE once again in a pickle. Here's a question, Potter. How many times, if you're Kusta in that situation, coming back uh, to coffin from yeah. ruins, how many times do you get caught like in that spam battle through that smoke? I feel like everyone feels like that. That spam battle is like, I'm going to win it. Yeah. This is the one. And, and too many <laughs> times. I mean, I get why Kusta was stuck there. Because too many times when you're the coffin player, you are caught. In a, in, from in a rock and a hard place, between yeah. a rock and a hard place, you know? As soon as your teammate gets contact, then you want to push through the smoke. Not sure if that was a calm issue or if Kusta had already told Som that he's not going to push through that, but it's definitely, man, it's, it's well, definitely the toughest spot. So it's interesting because Kusta was playing on the CT spawn side, so you'd expect if the smokes come in and you're Som, you just kind of expect you're on your own, right? Like yeah. if he's rotating back around, like there's nothing he can do for, you know, two, three seconds. Like you're, you're probably dead coming through that, but... Just interesting to have some in that position. He, I mean, he did have to drop down because of the Molotov. Yeah, it's definitely a one and done position without the pressure from CT yeah. spawn run through smoke type deal. But here we are again, chaos on a low buy, and you know, Leaf. I wanted to mention he had a lot of success in this A halls versus MIBR when he was kind of lurking out, putting pressure. And oh god, <laughs> this time around. It's under control here, Jason. I know. I'm just. I feel bad because Daps was so on point on Mirage, and then we just see that little sequence come <laughs> out. <laughs> it's, it uh. is. It feels bad, and and you know Daps, he's uh, 
He's been working on his big pit presence. Oh. And this round, all of a sudden, this is man. Vanity is gonna book it. I don't know where the. They don't bomb have the bomb. It's in right pit. Now? It's okay. in pit. They oh, have to okay. go back. Okay. Yeah, round round should still be fun in theory. In theory, in theory, a nice jiggle from Vanity might really throw things off here for automatic. But okay, this should still be good. Just jiggles all day long. Six to five, Genji take the lead. Good eco though. We have a lot of money here now on the Chaos End. We just need to be a double buy. We may have to lose the next round. It's a nice replay. <laughs> I know. As if we had to do it to him again. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> it's the subtle things. But yeah, here, because there are obviously wasting a lot of money here. But if we look at the approach from Genji again and again, they are. It's a Genji timeout. I'm surprised it's not a Chaos one. Yeah. But it actually gives Chaos at least some time to talk about it too. This is a five round win streak for Genji at the moment. If their own timeout. I mean, I, I, I still like that. Maybe, yeah, you maybe know the that comms are wild. Well, I like it too because if we start looking, you know, it's kind of the same. The only one that really has a lot of money on the Gen G side is Bentad as well. Like everyone is pretty low on money. It's a very important round. You know that this is a full buy from Chaos. And usually when we talk about this in the sense of, especially when Chaos hasn't had a lot of answers and you've been able to get banana control so much, this is also a point in time where you have two options here. Like you can fake going aggressive, you can go aggressive if you want. Even just setting the one towards B, but it looks like it's the same kind of setup for Gen G. It's a three man setup towards the B bomb set in the beginning. Dabs got hit this time around though. But very much the same coos as the guy, the kingpin there with the sandbag, some banana here. But it's a fast rotate this time around. Daps is very quick on rotate over to A this time around, but we see the same tendency from Chaos. Very much the same kind of default. And here's what I. They do get banana, and this is great and all. Now, the problem is that they don't have a lot of other control. I would love for them to just fall back now. Take mid, and you can execute B if you want. But, like, if you stand here for 50 more seconds doing nothing, just waiting for smokes to fade, you're going to have a bad time. I love this approach. You have to stay there, MC. You drop the bomb for someone else if you are going to make the decision of going B back to B later. They don't have a lot of utility. Yeah, so like that's their, their next play almost uh, feels like it exactly. has to be their, their final play. And exactly that, and exactly what you're 100% right, Jason. Leaf is super aggressive here, and that's why you see the rotation coming. In. So it's a, still a pretty good play from Chaos. They do showcase, hey, we have banana control. So they're forced to have two members still there from Gen G side. And then now, because of the lack of nades, this will be the final push of the of the round. No. Nice smoke time too. Uh-oh. Uh, he got one. That's all he needed. I cannot believe that did not go better. Chaos cracks into the bomb site. Bomb is going to be planted. 20 seconds on the clock. Automatic has just arrived. Another two on three. Automatic has Molotov and Flashbang if they want to go for this. They might consider saving. I would save here, actually. There's really no point in going here. You don't have a lot of nades here, and you know that you're also low and bomb down. It's a bad read. To your point as well, like that, the, because Bent had got the smoke down, even if he just gets the one, the crossfire was there. They should have definitely. I'm not sure who was in graveyard. I knew. I do Som. know. It was a Som. Yeah, he gets the one. I think that he probably should get the second. But because he doesn't get that, Chaos does a good job in getting the bomb. They're actually going they're for this going anyway. For it. I'm not a. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit of a gamble. Now they're forced on eco again. They had money on Bentad as well. He has 7k and stuff like that. So this is, could have been a really good buy if they would have just saved the weapons. Instead, they go for like a, like a retake, a three on two. I don't know. I'm not a fan of that, but I'm sure they had their well, reasons. Well, I'm, I'm sure someone said we're gonna buy no matter what. That would be the only. That'd be the only way. That yeah, that I mean, would make then sense. you should definitely yeah. save them if that's the call. Well, I mean, I think they're just saying we have enough money to get you know a decent enough buy. They just go for it. Listen, I'm just trying. I'm trying to don't find the positives. It, Jason. I'm trying to find the positives. The yeah. positives is that Chaos got their first round on the board after losing. Was it five or six in a row? Yeah, something like that. So. At least they found a way to break Genji's defense a little bit. Same approach here again, but this time around, Genji has a different idea in mind. It's an A stack with a boost on short. Uh, this stack here. always. I feel like this stack 
Hasn't worked since 2016. Maybe even earlier. Well, now with the bad <laughs> smoke on Archway, you see that the smoke. Yeah, he's going to get it's an gonna angle. Work. It's going to work. It's going to work. They're going to get every kill. Well, I, I also expected there to be a flashbang thrown at some point. A flashbang yeah. and a yeah. right yeah. smoke. One, one flashbang would have been great. Um, two would have been nice. Yeah, that was kind of a gift from Chaos to give Genji all of the duels that they absolutely would have wanted in that stack. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I guess our question should have been, when's the last time we saw a full commit mid with no nades? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, that stack always weirds me out because it feels like it should be so much stronger, but I, I don't know. It, no, like, it's much more like hit or miss. I feel like the percentage of, it, of its success rate is much lower than you'd expect out of it. Yeah. yeah. Now, granted, like if we look at just how the round progressed there itself, like Chaos did do a good job in taking banana control before they took mid. I would say the only problem that I saw with that round, even the expo flash isn't really needed, but they missed the smoke and arch. That so it was too. a one way on smoke and arch, and they had a boost set up on, on short. The idea there of just getting a smoke and arch and then wide swinging from one boiler and two from mid and clearing um, the short area, there's a reason why they didn't use the flash there, for example. Usually you just do stand in that anti flashbang setup and you just want to kind of wide swing it in instead. I would say it, that just accounted for a very bad smoke on that arch side. That certainly doesn't help anything. 7 to 6. I feel bad for Dabs, man. It's like SMGs, no, no nades and stuff. But hey, that's the thing. When you're the game leader, the support player, you get the shitty, you get the shitty spots. You get the shitty job. But the reward is so much sweeter. the team wins. Yeah? It Usually not Dabs, though. Dabs definitely doesn't place himself in the shitty spots. He's uh, he's definitely placed himself in a lot of lurk roles. He gets to bait his team a lot. Yeah, but I he think he does that. He gets to go for a lot of the kills. I don't think he trusts his teammates with the flashback. I think he's really the one of, like, when we when I throw my flash, we go kind of guy. <laughs> you know? But you're right. I feel like if you have... um. A player like Daps, and obviously he had a great showing on Mirage, but if you have a lot of star players on your team and you have a lot of crispy aimers, then you should maybe start converting a little bit where you start going a little bit more entry as the game leader. Take the bullets for your team. Oh. He spars him. Good play from Automatic. I, I love that. Yeah, beating the smoke out and now just out positioning, out playing both of these guys on Chaos. And this just forced... Forces Chaos to react at B, right into a good crossfire, and there it is. This time around, the crossfire at B for Gen G's side, it works out. Yeah, that was a really that was really good good work at the B bomb site. Make sure they couldn't even get the plant, couldn't even get the trades in, and no risk. Two round lead. It's now eight to six. So if I'm Chaos here, well, first of all, if I'm Gen G, I'm calling. Watch out for a B rush. Watch out for a B pop round. Okay. It's the one round that they won. If I'm Chaos here, I don't do that. I rush A. I rush long here. I expect Gen G to have three towards A or towards B, sorry, in the beginning. And I want to rush long here. I want to wrap. We're going all main. It's not going to be a B rush. It is a fake or a molly. I, I'm actually hoping this is the call. Look at me. Holy fuck, you could think that I'm actually playing Careful, this game Robin, for a while. Careful, Robin, that's not guaranteed listen, to work I'm not yet. saying it doesn't work. I'm just <laughs> saying, listen, this is the right call. Look at the rotations. They have to be quick here. Use some nades. You have to wrap. Okay. Where is Sierra going? Leaf is just going to seek his spot to die. It's, okay. it's still okay. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, we're good. MC, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, you my, you my guy. You my guy. Yeah, we're good. Robin started getting cocky before we no, saw listen, what was but happening. now the beast split happens. Yeah. This is a great call, You're honestly. right. Your strategy has put them in a position to win. It remains to be... The strategy has worked. It remains to be seen if you can close out the yes. round. Yes, okay, you were... I was going to say that. Daps, oh, oh, nice. They're going to close it out. All right. It's happening. Calm down. Papa Bentet's still alive. Yeah. Four on two. They are very compact, though, the, the Gen oh. G guys. The focus oh, is definitely timing. on that CT spawn, but... I mean, that's such a long time for them to just occupy CT spawn. Like just get there and hit the pause button. That's probably that's those are such fun rounds. That's such a hard hard read to make as the CT team is how to handle when a team has gone for a mid B split and then just sat and CT spawn when they get it so quick. That's got to be one of the one of the more difficult rounds to kind of adjust on. Yeah. There's no real adva advantage fight of getting information without overextending yourself. Cutting yeah. the map completely in half. It's brutal. Nicely done from uh, Gen G Chaos. I mean, nice start. Tough middle, nice end. Right on, right on schedule. Uh, we'll be right back with the second half. 
We're back with the second half of map two. Even half so far, eight to seven in the favor of Genji. Chaos got the last round there, had a good early lead. And then Genji had a really good mid half. Lost the last round then, but we are do have Genji now on the T side. It's a fast B rush. And they do have the bombs. So it's actually a B retake here on the side of Chaos with one smoke, one flashbang. We Ooh. talk about this a lot when it comes to the T's and stuff like that. They have no nades left. So this is all about the trades, all about being aggressive. Make sure that CT is actually going, don't get into position. You want to be aggressive here with the Glocks, knowing that you don't have a lot of nades. So oh, a lot of peeking. Banana's going to be so tough. They have to start getting that kill down. Banana, they've gotten it. And now they need to swing back, but it's smoked off. Kusta, impossible situation. Oh, Knives yeah. are out. Everything's taking a ah. turn for the worst. Oh, he's going to go for it. He's held him off the bomb for a very long time. They must stop this plant and they, or the defuse, and excuse me, they do. Round should be over now. That's, that's weird. <laughs> oh man, yeah, full blown chaos. Gen G, I like it. They start challenging a little bit. They know they don't have nades. Waiting for the chaos retake. And obviously we know they had one smoke, one flash. Full blown chaos there, but Gen G with the pistol. We talk a lot about the Chaos Pistols, they've been winning a lot of those, so refreshing to see a Pistol win here from Genji. And a full buy here from Chaos as well. Scout on Vanity, he's gonna take that peek towards mid, he hits automatic at the same time. Oh, and hit also. Benta. Benta. What a god. Ooh, yeah, not what you want to do, I always talk about with well, my guys. Well, it's, automatic it's negated. Kind of, <laughs> yeah, it's negated. Never mind. Keep peeking. But this is what I... Always say about my guys as well of like don't let the uh, scout just stand in your mid and just like do a bunch of damage like this is the, This is a wet dream if you're a John G. This is a wet dream if you have a 5.7 or like a regular pistol like there's two bullets so you get a kill so Nicely done by automatic Getting the kill there, but this is a good setup from Johnny nice flash as well Anti-flash setup though for some I wonder if they're going to fall right back into that shotgun. Nah, there's no way. They're going forward. Good kill from Daps, and the follow-up is not there. Zeppa's low. The leaf has been found in middle, and there he is. Tenth round for Genji on the board. They're going to start running away with this one. They've got dinner plans. Yeah, <laughs> and it's so good to see Genji being so thorough this time around. You know, just that minor small detail on having a player be ready and anti-flash, it seems so obvious. But, you know, those are the motions that sometimes... We don't always see the, the clean the clean rounds in that out of these players, so definitely a good detail that Junji do not left leave unnoticed. Alright. Pop flash peak. I like the attempt from Chaos, but these rifles are so far back. It's not going to be a danger. Alright, what, what does Chaos have to do in this first gun round to get back into this game? What? How do they set the tone here? Any ideas? No, well, here's the thing. When you buy that second round, and obviously everyone does it nowadays, now, the problem with you buying on the second round is, yeah, you still get a good buy for the fourth or whatever, but you don't get the best of buys. You don't get the ops. We see here, if we look at the money all around, there's no one really on Chaos's ball that just didn't oh. buy an armor. So, like, you have a choice. You can buy an op if you want, but it's going to be glass cannon or just, like, nice. a single op with no <laughs> nades. So here I would rather prefer, if you're Chaos... So just buy full sets of nades instead. Just focus on utility rather. You don't have to go aggressive banana and stuff like that. We know for a fact here as well. We well we know and they should also know if we pay attention, pay, pay attention to the weapons that they have all rifles on the side of Genji. No SMGs, which means that for next round, for example, we're probably not going to see a very aggressive round from Genji. It's all about like holding the nades, holding the trades. So I would just like to be for them to Get, prioritize utility. Be cool. Prioritize be utility. Cool. Be cool. Don't fight for banana right off the bat. I know you want to set the tempo and like showcasing, hey, we have banana, we have all of that. But I feel like it's getting a little bit more played out in that sense. Obviously, we are in North America now. I do feel like they do take a little bit longer to kind of adapt like the meta and stuff like that. So we might still see that. We've seen that again and again of these like 3B setups that we've uh, from the North American side. Vanity does buy the opto with the single armor. So no nades. I'm not sure if he had a good spawn anywhere. Looked like he had a good spawn actually towards the apps or even towards that short taking a peek down ramp. There are what two flashbangs for the 
for Chaos on CT side. Other than that, it's all damaging nades. And actually, they've there they fought for it, Robin. They they lost it. They uh, they did fight for it and they lost <laughs> it. Um, they lost it pretty still bad. Though, still though, they're at least th this is a very early smoke if you're Jonji and they, just because now, now they're just walking in and there's no more nades on the CT side here. Like Seppa, I mean this is a good job of him even getting a kill. This should be an instant save round from Chaos. They should not even go for it. Save the weapons that you have. We talk about utility so much. This is a great round from Gen G as well. You know with the optimization, they see that B is actually completely clean. No one's really fighting for B outside of the nades. So was they that go a, back. Was that a double nade on top banana? Yeah. T that got Zeppa that low? Yes, that I think it went to I don't know, maybe I didn't see exactly where they threw the grenades, but it was definitely a double nade that got him that low. Jeez. I was assuming they threw it towards the entrance choke point since both of them got damaged pretty yeah. pretty heavily. Either way, I'm I'm more impressed that Daps just made that play. <laughs> let, let just walked in. Just walked yeah. Well, like I said, we talk about first weapon round, and then obviously not noticing that they don't have an op on that uh, in Banana. One of the calls that's made, and we talked about the whole thing of like, if there was going to be a fast round first weapon round, you know that Chaos has nades, so they go the expo route instead. They don't do the full up roll next, because you know they still have smokes to kind of clear out the, the mollies if they were to throw them. Instead, they walk through the smoke. It's supposed to just be the one flash and one smoke uh, in seed spawn, but Jonji gets the kills, so or Jonji ends up dying, so Genji just walks in basically for free. Nice round, nice nice first weapon round for Genji. They get banana for free essentially, and they just walk into banana. So this is a bad spot if you chaos, because now if you chaos, you kind of feel forced in the sense of like, oh, do we have to like fight for banana? Like, do we have to do that? And you see the setup to swap around. We see three guys now towards uh, from chaos towards that B bomb site. This is gonna be a bit banana take, and this just for the counter right because of the way that Genji did such a good job on the early stages there. I do love the fact, though, the chaos. They are putting the three mem de members just there in the beginning. They didn't waste a like a lot of nades. It was just essentially just for the push. I'm not sure as well. Maybe MC actually came over there to throw the initial nade and stuff like that, just so they have more nades to utilize on the B bomb stuff later. Ooh, deep That's smoke. also very common. This is the retake setup I was talking about. The smoke, the, the smoke by the wall, and then the molly by the car. Now you have options. You can flash out, for example. This is a very common spot that Som has, for example. But you should be prepared for that if you CT. Because yeah, but they you didn't... did that, yeah, I'm not a fan of this. You have to flash out and clear because okay. now you waste a lot of nades. I was gonna say, and you don't know anything. It's a common retake setup, but there's no there's no retake on the back end yeah. of it. You don't know anything. At least a flash, you just hear a shot. At least you know that they at least were aggressive. Now you don't really know. You don't even know if they fell back. And you see the turnaround from Gen G. I actually would have wished that they would just fall back into B here because they know they don't have nades. Instead, they will do the turnaround. They will gonna fall back into A. There's not going to be a lot of time left on the clock here either, so we are going to just see a straight A execute. There are some nades left on the side of CT as well, a smoke and vanity. Good angle there as well. Still it's very much winnable. Yeah. Hit. Oh, the timing as well. 22 seconds. They must go now. A lot of uh, a lot of obstacles in their way. Good trade from Automatic Leaf inside the bomb site. It's hard cleared, but not one. And Daps coming on the rap side. That's a nice hit, a nice assassination. And bomb is being planted. Three on three. And they, do they want to go for the retake? There's two kits left on this team. I think they're going for this time That's around because they can't keep saving all every single time. And now because the rotations were there and they had at least one flashbang to go in, I think they want to go for it. It's not going to work out, but I do think that you're getting to a point at which like, there's only so many times yeah. you can save until you get to a point of like, hey, we're just losing rounds anyway. What was that smoke? That was a uh, that was an awful smoke, <laughs> but but I do have to, to to mention. I mean, I liked the response coming out of uh, chaos. I mean, it was a valiant effort, right? We we were on Vanity's point of view. He knew that he was about to get wrapped. He didn't want his teammate in the site to have to focus on two different angles. Right. So he smokes off mini pit himself, and man, you know, if he gets one shot off there, things can look a little bit more different. That crossfire it can actually hold strong, but unfortunately for chaos. Genji do such a good job at trading in that moment, getting into the site. That was a nice hit. That wraparound from Daps. Yeah. It's weird. He pushed to the smoke. Yeah. So that was really good timing on him, too. You mentioned it previously that he'd given himself a lot of good positions like lurk rolls, and that was kind of that was like his kind of being in the lurk role. Yeah. But then we saw the previous round, him being the entry and walking yeah. into the B bomb site. So he's doing a little bit of everything at the moment. Good juggling. Good juggling. Armor on the whole side of Chaos is a half-buy. 
It's gonna be a full buy for next. We still have some weapons here, still very much doable. This guy is all by himself. Step up. Gets the kill though. Oh, oh no. with the smoke. He needs help here. This should be a call. John G is there as well for the trade. So it's actually not that bad of a setup so far. No more nades here, so they're actually sticking around, being aggressive. It's a good setup too with this boost. They decide to fall back. I'm not sure... They, oh, he actually picked up the smoke. I'm not sure about this, because we know that it's one minute Ooh. left. Kusta gets the entry there as well onto MCE in the, that mid area. But because there's no more nades on that banana bomb site now, yeah, you're forced to kind of take a gamble. You're forced to just oh gamble on a site here. You're forced to push. Dear God, that almost worked. Oh, it has worked. Chanji with a follow-up flank. That's filthy. Uh, Chaos just like accidentally walked into like the best trap they could have they could have ever set. Definitely so. And that was off the back of just the one saved A4. Man. One saved M4, they still had yeah, scout, but at least armors. I love this aggressive play from Chaos though. Kind of getting the read of like, hey, they were taking banana and stuff. There's definitely people with banana, which means we're talking about the sites and stuff like that. And a shout out to G2 again. They do this fantastically. As soon as they kind of find out, oh, you're fighting on one side of the map, they push the other side of the map just to kind of take control, try and pinpoint you on like the one side of the map. And works out for Chaos here. Still a long way to go. 13 8. Some money left on the. Gen G side Kusa with four grand, Benta with 3.7, so they still have money to play with here. So two rounds in a row, Chaos need to string together. And especially on their own end too, with the economy, but winning that last round gave them some more money in the bank. Oh no, this push is... Oh! oh my God. I cannot believe it. He certainly saw it, but that's a lot of damage dealt to Bentet that they probably preferred wasn't taken. <laughs> I can't believe the level of that aggression. John G, he, he thought twice, then he <laughs> said, nope, never mind, I'm doing it. Even, I'm doing it, I'm sticking to my gun. Even Art's over here watching this game like, what is that guy thinking? <laughs> <laughs> and now Vanity, I mean, at least he's still got full control of Banana, but just one flashbang pushes him off that angle. And I mean, he's got to hit some good shots here. He's got to dodge that, and there it is, that's the start of it. That might get him back into this round, but at this point, Gen G, they're just reacting. They're going straight back to A and... As you can see on the minimap, there's only one defender here in Leaf, so he's got a lot to do here to hold the A bomb site. His teammates, they're rotating right now, but they need some time. And time is not what Leaf can buy them. No. And uh, he obviously needed to win that first battle against Kuzo if he wanted to do anything about saving him in that round. It was a desperate situation. It's like Robin mentioned a couple of rounds ago. You're just at the point, if you're Chaos, where you have to actually fight for some of these instead of just letting them all slip away. You don't have a whole lot of rope left, uh, and we're, we're coming there very quickly. 14-8 to eight in the favor of Gen G. At least it won't be a scrappy bot here from Chaos, especially if Vanity ends up saving this weapon. Look at the money on that Chaos side, and Sapa has a lot of money, 4.7k. Vanity as well, 4.2k, can drop a weapon. Jonji with 3k, so it's really only Leaf. It's definitely gonna need that drop there. MC could buy like an SMG or whatever. Not that big of a deal, but they are chasing I love this from Genji. Kinda know as well that, hey, getting there. Two more rounds to go. Trying to go for some information play, but he saves the weapon nonetheless. So it is going to be another good buy here. Not the best, but definitely nothing to be ashamed of. Yeah, as you mentioned, thank God Vanity had so much money. He was able to drop two A4s. And they bought a... John G ends up buying an AWP as well. So we do still have the double AWP set on, on Chaos with a lot of nades. So I'm expecting some aggressive play here. Some trying to go for opening picks with the AWP. They're actually doing a very aggressive play. They're down mid instead. I actually quite like this. It's a change of pace as well. Nice flashbang. And you have the op to cover you up as well. MC and Leaf down in middle. This is all about the trading game now then. Ooh. This is when you really want to start talking about. Like you get the entry. But like now it's all falling apart a little bit. The last remaining two players that you have are on that B bomb site. And Johnny, this is a really it's cool going. aggressive play. He has to. He has to. There's no one on the A bomb site to kind of hold. Don't let them. Don't allow them to get the bomb down for free. This is super smart from Genji as well. But oh, my smarter God. from automatic. Yep. What a daddy. Big brain. Ooh, Zeppa, so quick and Daps. Man, he booked it a while ago. Zeppa, he's got the smoke and a kit. 
He's gonna throw that lurk smoke. Ooh, this huh. is this is shaving a lot of time off the clock. And Daps even has a Molotov. Zeppa will have no idea where he is, so he's still gotta calculate. So at this point, he's just gotta go. Yeah, there's so a... that smoke ends up doing nothing for him. Yeah, mm. way too many angles to clear. And you're right. Even if even if Daps doesn't get that kill there, he has the Molotov and he knows that the smoke is spent. So yeah. it would have been an easy win either way. And now it's truly a desperate situation for Chaos. They have to win seven in a row. So time to invest in some weaponry. That was that was an initial push from Chaos. And it did start to look good. That flashbang to start it all they off They didn't with. time it very well with the banana guys. Because the guys in mid were obviously down fighting. But the banana guys, because they were smoked off and not a lot of nades. They kind of got like spread out a little bit. Yeah. They got the entry like you said. That was phase one, but what's phase two? That's obviously trying to get out of that, staying alive. Nice entry from John G. Dress to play from Banana again. They have to do something. I mean, they can't just have John G running around. So I'm, I'm okay with this play from Chaos. Especially knowing that he got the entry, but you have to do something. And you have to try and kind of force John G into a spot. Well, they've got a man advantage. At least there's that. We'll see if they can close out this round. Oh. Perhaps not. Automatic with a stunner up mid. Vanity going to try and step up and clear this out. First kill is his. Oh, and he's going to get away. I think that's team damage. Maybe an HE grenade. And Molotov gets put out, so Vanity can save his smoke. And that's uh, that's heartbreaking. That is heartbreaking. I think Bente was spamming him, and then, and then the boiler guy shot him. Yeah. So then it freaked him out there. <laughs> I, yeah, I had no idea why they, why, uh, or how Vanity got away otherwise. Ooh. Automatic even read the, the boost, and that's pulling the AWP away, but surely he just plants himself in CT spawn with low HP, walking into the crosshair, mm. that's the bomb down, then it goes, and Kusta is prime meat for Leaf and Pit. Yeah, just, uh, one of those rounds where just one kill one one of these kills goes Gen G's way and it's a completely different outlook a different outcome so good on chaos to be able to capitalize on that but man by the slimmest of margins they are still not able to feel any sort of comfort I know. at all yet it's still going to be quite the I, grind i mean they don't yeah they don't get any comfort no like no matter how many rounds they win or know how much money they build up like you still just don't have a single mistake to make yeah and even, even when you got an opening pick in the last round, you almost lost it, so gotta be careful. And Automatic knew he was gonna have that shot the whole way down. And you know, he's been doing that all half long, really. He's feeling supremely confident time. today. Yeah, really, really a lot, of a lot of active movements. We even saw it on Mirage, right, with the jump, run, jump boost out yeah. mid. Just really active and aggressive with that AWP, so that's, that's refreshing. That's fantastic to see from Automatic. Yeah, you love to see it. Especially as someone who I still think is uh, not quite there yet in the transformation from, like, Rifler to yeah, Alper. Yeah. I'll be interested to see how that progresses. Oh. Early returns aren't, aren't great. Uh, Som, not going to clear the follow-up player. But now Gen.G has an open B bomb site, and it's looking like a 16-9. to This is going to be very tough. Molotov still on daps. Two HG grenades as well. And Genji has the upper hand in the post plant. And you know, yesterday one of our complaints here on the couch was 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 Genji's trading ability, but it's obviously been polished up. Oh, and man. a quick pick onto Kusta and a perfectly placed flashbang starts off the possibilities for Chaos to come back into this round. But Benten is still in an optimal position, and he should be able to determine that the last player is here as well, with no action coming around, and he wide swings and finishes it off. That is a powerful wide swing. That's a statement wide swing. Yeah. 16 to 9. So 16 8 on Mirage, 16 to 9 on Inferno, and Gen G has taken the series 2 to nothing. That's, um, yeah, that's a, that's a solid win for Gen G to avoid. We talked yesterday like there was some upset potential if Gen G came out flat, if Chaos started out good. Um,. Genji wasn't flat. Chaos had some good yeah. things, but Genji most importantly wasn't flat. Yeah, and then we said we I mean the same trend the whole week, right? Like Chaos were off with a really good start and then kind of fall flat, like not really reading the game, not really adapting to the game either. And yeah, I mean Genji looked a lot better today. 
versus Chaos. I think that, like Christine pointed out, the whole thing with the training games and stuff like that, I do think that there was a little bit more, they were a little bit closely knit this time around. Maybe that's because Chaos is a little bit more of a worse team compared to like a Cloud9. Maybe Cloud9 did a much better job in spreading out the defense or the offense of the Gen G side. But this is a nice 2 0 from Gen G, yeah. and obviously they, they will be potentially getting a rematch between the Cloud9 or obviously again versus 100 Thieves. Yeah, that'll um, that's gonna be interesting to watch. I'm I'm curious how this group is gonna pan out. I'm, I want to see how Cloud Nine progresses through. Mostly, that's that's my biggest interest uh, in this. Um, I'm not 100 percent sure what we're doing next. Are we gonna go to to break right now, really quickly, and then we'll come back and we'll kind of recap the day. Uh, so if you miss some of the action early on, we'll go over that when we get back. And stay tuned.